Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting video today. I'm gonna be doing my nails and I'm gonna be kind of using this brand new collection from Fiote and you can purchase this from zillabue.com. I will have all the links in the description box below, but this is the new like fall winter collection from Fiote and it is absolutely stunning and I cannot wait to open this box and show you all of the packaging and all the beautiful colors and then I'm gonna do my nails and these colors in this box are like semi translucent I'm not gonna make you wait very long to see don't worry So these semi-translucent kind of gels are really great for ombre. So I think today I'm going to do some ombre nails on myself. And this is the design that I have on my nails already. And I do have a video of doing these cat eye nails as well. So if you're interested in that, uh, I will make sure and put the link in here. This is the Fiote collection this is their nuance collection winter 2021 and you can tell from the packaging right off the bat it's this gorgeous like marble color and so they have like this whole beautiful theme going on with this collection and we are just going to dive right in normally i would just do my nails and not show you guys this part of like the process but this packaging is just so stunning that i felt like i needed to include it in the video as well so the like unboxing or whatever you want to call it and so first of all you get this card which you can use to stick some of the press on or like nails onto it so you can use it to display for your clients to see but i think it's really pretty it's almost like a travel kind of almost like a luggage tag like that's kind of what it reminds me of and everything has this gorgeous like coppery colored metallic writing on it and then you also get three postcards and they are actual postcards because they have the spot for the stamp and you can write whatever and they just kind of fit the theme they kind of set the tone for the collection so you kind of have this like beachy kind of warm tones these kind of neutral tones and then these soft like gray colors and i think it's just stunning like what nail collection sends you postcards that matches the theme like that is amazing then you also get these two two-sided cards that have marble designs so you have this one that's got like a kind of green jade color to it and then on the back you have like a white with kind of gold in there and then this one's more of a neutral and then on the back it's more of like a, another kind of white lighter colored neutral at first i wasn't sure what these were for besides like inspiration but i think that these are for like a background so if you wanted to film a video or something you could totally use this as like a background so this is kind of cool like you could definitely use these for backgrounds of like filming videos if you wanted something with like a little bit more texture or something like that i think it's so beautiful so you get a display for the bottles and so let me put this display together really quick so i can show you kind of the whole thing put together so here is the beautiful display that you could set and kind of highlight these colors this collection on your desk you could set it on your desk wherever but isn't that just stunning and it has that metallic like coppery accents all the writing is like metallic and it's gorgeous like i cannot get over how beautiful this collection is i don't want to throw any of the the packaging away like ever and then you also get this kind of i'm not sure exactly if you would just set it like in front of the collection right here but this you would put your tips on to display like the swatches of the colors and then they have kind of little like examples right here as well i'm not sure like if you could probably put it in different ways but i know that it's for displaying your swatches so that's everything you get in this package which is like so much stuff seeing like a company go this put in this much effort for the just the packaging in the collection it's just 
unbelievable, stunning. I highly, highly recommend. So in this collection, you're gonna get eight colors and then two of these kind of specialty gels. So you have a glitter and then also a texture gel. And again, all the colors are going to be slightly sheer. They are called syrup gels, which means that they're almost like a syrupy kind of look to them or a syrupy kind of consistency as well. And that just means that they're supposed to be really great for ombre uh, gradient nails, nail art. They just kind of have a different look to them, more of like a unique look. So let's dive into the colors and then we are gonna try these out on my nails. And I do need to remove this design and fill my nails and stuff as well. But let's go ahead and try out these colors and take a look at them. So it does come with one glitter. This is a really pretty gold flake glitter. I'd say it's more like gold foil or gold leaf. And they're like really fine kind of small particles of it inside of a clear gel. So that is the glitter in this collection. And then the textured gel is a creamy kind of neutral color. And it has these little tiny particles in there hopefully you can see it, that it kind of looks like sand or stone. You could totally do like stone with this. You could do like a really cute sweater uh, textured look with this. You could do, uh, I was thinking seashells cause you know how seashells can have those speckled looks, sand, a whole bunch of stuff you could do with this. So this is super unique, this kind of sand textured gel. Okay, so my nails are all filled and ready to go for the design. And I decided to use uh, six of the colors, five colors and then that gold flake. So I will show you the colors I'm gonna use for this. Um, first, I'm gonna use this one, which is NU04, which is a dark green, NU05, which is a blue, NU06, which is a purple and you zero seven which is getting like more of a plum kind of purpley shade a little bit more with a little bit more red in it and then and you zero eight which is a more of a red or burgundy and then I'm gonna use the glitter CL 31 which is the gold flake so what I'm gonna do to start off is I'm gonna apply a coat of base gel. This is just a clear base gel. And I just want to apply this first because I want a kind of slick surface on the nails. So the nail's been filed and shaped, but I want it to have a nice uh, slick surface for the color to ombre onto because otherwise you might see kind of like some of these file marks and stuff when you are ombreing. You might see a little bit of those kind of grooves in the nail, but this is gonna give you like a really smooth finish to the nail. So I'm gonna apply just a layer of clear. It's just gonna help that ombre. And this is the Fiote Addiction Base Gel. If you don't have this, you could also use a top coat or another like base coat. Just anything that's clear that's going to give the nail like a nice smooth kind of slick surface. I am going to cure this, but it will have a tacky layer that's going to kind of help aid in creating the ombre effect.
So once this is applied, I'm gonna cure this. Okay, for the ombre, I'm going to be using a ombre brush that looks like this. So it's got like some shorter bristles and then some longer ones that kind of stick out at the top here. I'm also going to be using a palette and I'm going to place a little bit of my clear gel onto that palette. So I'm going to start with the thumb and I'm going to start with this one NU08 which is the more like red burgundy. It has some like really nice like pink shades in there too. I'm going to concentrate most of the product down on the free edge of the nail, just like this. And you can see just from the first coat, like how, like it's sheer, which is also going to help like the ombre. So I'm just going to go about that high up and I'm going to take my ombre brush and I'm going to grab a little bit of this clear gel and really like run my brush through it so the brush is well coated with the clear and then i'm going to start pulling this color down towards my cuticle area and you can see it's already starting to kind of ombre and fade a little bit If you need to, you can use like a wipe and to kind of get off the excess. And then you can go back in your clear gel and keep ombre. And I'm just really, really lightly grabbing the color and just pulling it up, but like super lightly, like a feather touch. But you can see like how easy these syrup gels ombre because I'm like barely touching it and it's just fading super, super nice. So I'm gonna call that good for the first coat and I'm gonna cure this and then go in and do the same thing again. Do my second coat and you'll notice with the second coat how much this color like builds up. Cause like after about, I feel like the syrup gels, like you do two coats and it's like almost a solid color. So you can see now that it's like almost a solid color at the end. And then we are going to do the same thing that we did last time. This is why I love these syrup gels. They're pretty new to me. Like I definitely have used like the glass gels before, but never these syrup gels where they're like, they're not a glass gel because I feel like with glass gels, it doesn't matter how many layers you apply, they will always be clear. They're always see-through. You just might get them to be like a little bit of a brighter color, but they're always gonna be see-through no matter how many times you apply them. These syrup gels are like sheer with one coat and then like almost totally opaque with the second coat. You might need to do three coats maybe, maybe on certain colors to get totally opaque. So nice, like look how pretty that ombre is. And it was so easy to do. If you want to like dilute it even more, you can use more clear, less clear. You're kind of like in control of exactly how you want it to look. But look how beautiful that is. I just, I absolutely love how opaque and how dark it gets on the free edge on the tip and then how much how easy it just fades up to the cuticle area like it is so nice and rich down at the free edge and so that's two coats and I think that's done that looks pretty good to me so I'm going to move on to the next color and do my other nails so now for the pointer and U07 this one has a little bit more purple in it than this color
Okay, so these are all done curing. I want to say I think the blue and the purple were like the hardest to ombre just because I feel like that's kind of the nature of like a purple pigment. It's always very, very dark. Blue and the purple I feel like were the hardest. Like the green was super easy and like the red and uh, burgundy were also super easy. So the next part, I'm going to do a coat of the gold glitter, which is CL31. And it's a really pretty clear gel with this gold flake in it. And I feel like when you put it on the nail, it's like a little bit more sparse than it looks just like straight out of the bottle. But it is so pretty. Bit of sparkle. Like I love that. It's so pretty. Okay, here's all the nails with the gold flake on it. I think it's so pretty. I love this gold flake. I literally want to put it on every color. Like, look at it over that green. It's so pretty. So I'm going to cure this, and then I'm going to top coat. Okay, so they are totally top coated, and I just went along and, like, kind of filed the edges just to refine the shape a little bit. And I think they're really, really pretty. I'm gonna use the, this is also by Fiote. This is their daily oil. And I did use this once before and already, and it is so nice. It's for face, body, hair, and nails. I like the little dropper as well for the packaging, but I feel like it just soaks in super easily and it doesn't leave you like feeling all greasy. You should use cuticle oil really like every day, but especially after doing your nails because you just used alcohol or acetone and it's gonna dry your nails out and dry your skin out around your nails. So you wanna make sure and re-moisturize after doing your nails. And this stuff smells good. It kind of has a florally scent, I wanna say, but it smells really good like a fresh floral scent. So I'm just rubbing that all in. Okay, here's the nails all done. Let me know what you guys think. I absolutely adore this collection. This is probably one of my top favorite collections in a while, just because I've never really used these syrup gels before. And as I'm getting to used to them, I'm really discovering all the different things that you can do with them. You can create like watercolor art, you know, art nail art that looks like watercolor because they go on so sheer and you can build them up to add shading and it just, just, they're so like versatile. They just, there's so much that you can do with them. I feel like I'm kind of discovering more and more about all the stuff that you can create with them and they're good for things like this, this gradient. So let me know what you guys think. I do see like the tiniest a bit of maybe I needed to blend out the purple or something like right in there and same with the blue I like I said those ones were like kind of the hardest to get but I still think it looks pretty good for the first time doing this but yeah I think I needed to work a little bit with more with the blue and the purple to get them like flawless but I would say this is pretty good. I would be pretty happy with this. So gorgeous. I've already used these colors a couple times on clients. Um, I did a plaid nail where I did one coat of the, it was actually this blue one for the plaid and it just creates a really nice sheer kind of line. It looks so pretty. Maybe I'll po put some pictures up here on the video so you can see kind of some other things that you can do with them. But let me know what you guys think of this method using the ombre brush and the clear gel. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.